So what did the last or the latest earnings in Disney reveal to us? Earnings was last night. It came out after the market closed. As you guys can see in pre-market, Disney is trading at $88.11. Wow. So what did the latest earnings reveal? Well, it was telling that the people wanted the stock to go up, period. It's not because of what was revealed specifically on the earnings call. The market was already prepared for it to go higher. Why would I say that? Because if you think about it, we did a price prediction at Disney, right? You can see it. October the 11th. Here it is almost a month later. And the market is precisely where we said it's going to go in pre-market. So how did we anticipate that the stock in Disney was bullish then when today it is now hitting our target areas? Hmm. And the good thing about this is when we did our video on October the 1st, we've already explained that the market was hitting some selling. We already got the line established. And currently, Disney is breaking outside of this resistance area, this once held area of resistance. Like the market got rejected three times here in September. It was getting rejected here in October, mid-October and beginning of November. It took the earnings release to allow the stock in Disney to break that range. Now, the next hurdle would be for us to notice whether or not Disney is going to break this overall downtrend. That's what we need to see. OK, so let me get rid of this line here. I'm going to continue to go forward in our price prediction in Disney. But as I usually tell everyone, if you see your stock, your position in profit, scale out because there's no guarantee that this is going to run all the way up to $90 like we're supposing it's going to try to do. There's no guarantees. But you see yourself physically as of this particular moment in profit. Why would you want to try to squeeze as much juice? From the orange why would you want to do that this is where greed comes in and it is that greed that will translate over into you having a losing position which is why it's important that you learn how to scale in scale out because no one can actually predict the future I know that sound like an oxymoron because it's what we do here on this channel we come through and drop price predictions looking for the market to go certain areas basically off of what we've already gone through historically off of the price chart so it looks good right now in disney but if the market opens and the market completely gets hit with selling and we come back down and this downtrend is still holding firm you already know what to expect then you don't have to listen to Bob Iger. Take a look at Disney on the two day chart. Disney on the three. Disney on the five. And on the weekly. So the weekly chart was already telling you what to expect. The last week printed price bar already told you. And that also goes in line with what happened on these wicked bars here at the bottom. Like the market's already prepared for that earnest release. I like the two of the chart too. Here it is on the three. And the five. Okay. So let me let this day of trading complete for Disney. And we need to get a look at how the daily price bar completes. To determine whether or not those sellers are still hitting this downtrend line. And they are. And we need to expect price to come back down. We really need to see the market in Disney create a very widespread up bar. Sort of like these over here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let 
need to see a price bar like this. That gives us an indicator of strength trigger, but it's wider than this. We need a widely spread bar like this one with an indicator of strength trigger to tell us that, yeah, that downtrend is no longer a problem for the buyers into the market in Disney. I really want to see that. So we'll wait and see. We'll get that. But give me your thoughts still about Disney. Where do you think price is headed? Do you think we're going to hit $90 before price comes back down? Do you think we're going to see price go higher than that? Maybe $92.50 because of off the longer term charts. Let me show you again. It's not out the realm of possibility given all of this buying that occurred in Disney down here that we can't see the market run up to 9250. But give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.